Hey, what's up, guys? We are back at the tabletop, and today we're talking about some STAC single pistol uh, mag pouches that I picked up from the T-Rex Arms website. Now, uh, I've heard about, you know, STAC from Saul of the Pew Pew Dudes. He's got some of their stuff. I believe he's got, like, some of their shotgun side saddles and stuff. Make sure you go check out the Pew Pew Dudes, Saul and Ray over there. Um, if I remember, I will link in the comment section to their channel. Check them out. Awesome dudes. And I've heard about STAC from, uh, you know, a bunch of other people, too. And, uh, you know, never checked them out. Uh, apparently, they are American-made, and uh, it's pretty cool. So right now, we got a couple of pistol mag pouches. They're exactly the same, and they are supposedly somewhat universal um, within reason, but uh, primarily, obviously, they're, they're expecting you probably to be running a Glock. You'll see here the stitching. On the back, there are three loops of molly, and you do have molly clips, you know, that you could thread through here and weave onto your kit as far as a carrier or a belt or whatever you need to put this on. Uh, so it makes it, it pretty versatile, in my opinion. And also, these things weren't that much money. I think they were 17 bucks a piece or 18 bucks a piece, nylon outer, and then you do have a Kydex inner, um, which maybe we can get some better lighting. I don't know. Let's see. Kydex in um, And let's see how they fit. Let's see how they fit the mags. Uh, so here's a standard Glock 17 mag. Okay, put it in there. Boom. Nice and snug. You've got a good amount of mag to be able to purchase it out of the pouch. And uh, that just seems legit. I like that. It looks good. It's clean. It's going to be somewhat quiet. You know, if it does get rubbed or, or smacked on something while you're moving through a super secret black ops, high speed, low drag, top tier, you know, environment or whatever, I don't know. Plus, it's going to match the rest of your stuff. If you got this on a carrier or something, it's all nylon, Cordura. Um, but with that Kydex insert, which uh, is like squished in in the middle down there a little bit, you got a little bit of a drainage hole down there. You see that, okay? And uh, it, it fits. Obviously, it's ambidextrous. You can run the mags whichever way that you want. Cool. And then with the attachment via the Molly clips, you can put it on anything. Um, they're cheap enough, made in America, well made enough uh, from what I'm seeing, from what I'm hearing. And uh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm probably going to end up picking a few more of these up, maybe in a few different colors. And, uh, you know, deck out a couple belts and uh, maybe some bags and some carriers. Let's see how it does with the 24-shot factory Glock mag. Okay, not bad. It's basically half in, half out, so I don't see that being a problem coming out. Shaking it, not holding it tight, shaking it, it's not coming out. And then obviously you got even more to grab on to extract that mag um, with that. So you can run, you know, outside the waistband, 17 shot spares, 24 shot spares, whatever you need to do. Competition, tactical, home defense, life and liberty use just because this is America, um, whatever it is, concealed carry even, you could easily use these for concealed carry, you could use these um, with the Alice clips, the Molly clips, Alice clips, I don't know what I'm saying, Molly clips to, uh, to bolt on to a belt, and while it might not be the most preferred method of doing it, as far as like an EDC belt or something like that, um, it is doable, it is possible, and uh, you can put other mags in this as well. For example, <laughs> an MP5 mag. Uh, now, this is an ETS mag that I had laying around close to the studio uh, tabletop here, and so that's why I grabbed it. But a Beretta mag, a Sig mag, you know, whatever. It's within the general shape and form fitting of a Glock mag, which seems to be what fits the best. But full. this is actually a 40-round MP5 mag. Now, if this was loaded, I, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure on how stable this would be or how well it would hold it, but it holds it empty just fine. Oh, <laughs> maybe even too good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can get it in. Pull it out. It's awkward behind the tripod. I'm not trying to hit the tripod. It's not that hard. I could do it off camera just fine. Um, but just to show you guys, just to show you guys, it's getting hung up on something a little bit. But uh, off camera behind the tripod, it is definitely easier. Uh, but, you know, standard bread of 92 mags, SIG 226 mags, 320 mags, M&P mags, whatever, uh, CZ P10C mags, VP9, P30 mags, whatever you want, um, will accommodate, will accommodate. And again, it's, it's form fitting to the fact, too, that you could, if you had to, take out this Kydex, heat it up with your girlfriend, wife's sister's hair dryer, or maybe your uh, heterosexual, or what is it? 
Is it not? Well, not heterosexual. Hopefully you're heterosexual. Well, I don't know. You could be whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But what is it? What is the metrosexual? Maybe you're metrosexual and you got a hair dryer, hair blow dryer of your own. Uh, you can heat this up and kind of mold it, tighten the retention, loosen the retention, whatever it may be. Um, but so far, without using these, this is initial impressions just out of the package, just got these in. Um, I don't know when you're exactly going to be seeing this video. You know, not all my stuff is released. In fact, most of my stuff is not released in real time. But. Uh, I like it. I'm digging it. I'm probably going to pick up more of these, like I said, in a few different colors and uh, see how they run on just like a, a carry style, you know, belt or a range style belt. Uh, see how they run on kit, like a, a chest rig or even uh, a plate carrier itself. You know, maybe run it on the EDC belt and see how sloppy that is with just the attachment via the Molly clip. We'll see, but so far, primarily what I'm going to be using these for um, is mags like this, or like this, supporting guns like this. And for that, and especially for the price, and the fact that it's made in America, not so sure you could actually go wrong with that. I don't know, leave it in the comment section below what you guys think, if you guys got any experience with STAC, any of their products, uh, and even this one specifically, and uh, more importantly, if you're looking anywhere down below, okay, you should probably a little arrow, whatever it is, uh, the first three links, description box below, those are to help you fight for your God-given rights, uh, you know, not only to party, but Second Amendment, which also could be a party, depending on the situation and the context, but uh, without this stuff, we have no other rights, people, so... For one, have these things, know how to use them, and then exercise your inherent by birth, constitutionally protected and reaffirmed, but inalienable gun rights, people. Okay, this is America, last time I checked. Um, check out T-Rex Arms, the YouTube channel, awesome content, a lot of great information. He has no idea I exist. Uh, also check out their website, a lot more information and as well awesome products and uh, pretty competitive and affordable pricing. So, you know, again, I get nothing from them. I paid for this stuff, but I dig it. So anyway, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. All this stuff helps out a ton fighting the anti-gun YouTube algorithm. And uh, if you want to support the channel, make sure you check the other links, the link tree. I'll probably have something pinned in the comment section below. Harry's Holsters, as always, link in the description box below. 10% off. You can get yourself a holster for, you know, some Glocks or some CZs or some Smiths or some SIGs or some whatever. But anyway... I love you guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.